Oh man, we are, honestly, I think we're doing quite well, considering I've been doing some ridiculously low percentage checks, and I've nailed, like, I feel like two out of three of them we've we've hit, so, um, yeah, so we figured out that there's some tracks here, um, there is a dead human there, if you didn't notice, um, it appears that our starting theory is that a group of people, uh, had this man and, uh, hung him. Obviously, if you can't tell, and there's also a child throwing stones at him, and another child over there, over the fence, hyping him up. So that's great. Um, let's check out this. Someone is trying to grow herbs. Oh, like, you know, the wacky tobacky, that kind of herb, because that's cool. Oh, money, and and oh, what's the other thing? Ooh, healing item. Yeah, got two of that. That was a mental healing thing. Okay, what's that? This winch mechanism has been oxidizing for some years. Okay. Um, I think that's what that stuff up there is somewhere higher. Okay, let's try and move this freaking door. An inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. What is this? Perception, sight, 28%, low, hmm. medium, 11. Why am I looking at this pile of roofing material? Huh? Let's give it a shot. Because it's nice Damn and it. orderly, well-laid pallets, easy on the eyes. Fair. No, <gasps> there's more to this. Yes. You get this strange feeling. Uh, some kind of feeling. Hard to say. Was, well, it's gone now. No. Feelings pass, you see. No. Especially the small ones. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're forever. What is this? It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. No, that's Belogna. Okay, which one did we fail? Eh, whatever. We'll have to level that up so we can try that one again. Kind of forgot that was a thing, so I probably shouldn't just, like, do every check like that, but... Okay. Young man, please. Contain yourself. Kuno's got this. The boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. He looks like he's been doing meth for, like, a while. Oh, yeah! Not a comfy, Kuno! What the hell is that? That thing is... That little girl is annoying. Uh, the boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be... Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, my response. Oh! Oh, okay, she said that weird word. Uh, yells... Yells the, oh, the other kid behind the fence. Holy, okay. Got it together. I nailed it. Hey, kid, a word. Police business. A moment of your time, please. I'm not getting into this right now. Hey, kid, a word. Police business. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! The child ignore... The children ignore you. It's loving in the dick. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I can't say that. I'm not gonna say that word, but... Um... The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Okay, this guy, this kid is definitely on some sort of drugs. Hold on, what does that mean? Stop throwing rocks at my crime scene. Stop using slurs at my crime scene. That's not how we do it. It's not how we roll, dog. Come Can't on. talk, pig. Shit's coming up strong. Throwing rocks. <laughs> you can call me a pig, that's fine. Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. Shit you coming out strong. this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. <laughs> juicy what now? I mean drugs. The kids oh, are drugs. I to yeah. I totally understand. Yeah, Kuno, ride the lightning, Kuno. Jesus. It's like a twelve year old kid and he's on like hard drugs. Kuno's Goodness. riding at sea. Riding at sea, he wipes sweat from his brow and sends another rock flying at my crime scene. The rake? You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! Okay. The fuck? Does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener. Jeez. Kim, what should we do here? Like, wh what are we doing? Are you kids siblings? Kid, you want to hang out? I'm not an arc. <laughs> Look, I have questions for you. Okay. Hey, kid, you want to hang out? Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit. Fucking entrapment shit. I shouldn't have said I was a narc. That's such a narc thing to say, dude. Why would you do that? Uh, Kim. We shouldn't do anything. I don't tempt such forces. 
What force is Kim? You will see. Like, the force? Are you talking Star Wars? Are you Star Wars fan, Kim? I'm down with Star Wars. Oh, hell yeah. Not like a crazy big fan, but I enjoy it. Yeah, sure. Are you kids siblings? The fuck are you talking about? I knew he'd get pissed on that one. He throws yet another rock. He's Please, where are you getting all these? Uh oh. Look, I have questions for you. All right, entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. No, oh, I feel like I've made an error. Uh, the body? What do you know about it? About the crime scene. You kids often play in this yard? I gotta ask, who is Kuno? Well, that that thing is Kuno, so we know that. Uh, Kuno, I, I threw up, and I can't investigate the body now. Um... Yeah, about the crime scene. You kids play here often, in this yard? Right, pig. This is where Kuno plays with his little wooden choo-choo. What do you want with it? Easy. That ladder yours? What's in the greenhouse over there? I was wondering about that trash container. Kuno, there's a stack of... Eternite Edder back there? Point to the shack. I might have questions for you later. Hmm. Well... What's in the greenhouse over there? How about that ladder, kid? You can climb it? It's not fucking Kuno's. It's ancient. Look at it. He thinks you're okay. fucking fool, Kuno. He says you climb the ladder up to your magic tree house. I did not say that. Straight up did not say anything about a magic tree house, young lady. Get the Shut the fuck, fuck up. out of here, pig. Kuno doesn't have a magic tree house. I did. Where are you getting that? Okay, whatever. Oh, how about the greenhouse? I don't know. Keep that gardener used to work there. Okay, we definitely have to go talk to that gardener. Hold on. Gardener used to work there? Oh, snap. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, what did you mean by... I don't know if that's a bad word, so I won't say it. Uh, you mean the young woman by whirling rags? Yeah, her, her, her. Okay, what you know, What would you, what'd you mean by used to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno dirt? said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. He fills his she lungs with rancid air. Shit's nothing to Kuno. <laughs> Hold on, the gardener. Okay, wait. Okay, Look, the gardener at the front. Kuno doesn't explain shit. Kuno just says shit. Right. Um. Okay. That's Enter just night. some shit. Roofing gimps left behind. Lazy dinks. <laughs> okay, I guess that's okay. Whatever. Lazy dinks. <laughs> there it is. That strange <clears throat> feeling again. Hmm. As if. There was more than meets the eye about that pile of roofing material. I fucking told you so. I told us so. You can't hide it. I see you without vision with my inner eye. Okay, that's a really weird thing to say. Am I saying that to myself or to Kuno? So you say, but I saw past the veil. Yes, yes. Some shit gimps left behind. Where those gimps suddenly raise your eyes. Left handed. Don't I have a single normal thing to say? <laughs> okay, left-handed. The fuck are you talking about? Kuno doesn't know what handed gimps they wear. Pfft, weak. I'm trying to get you to talk gimp, Kuno. Don't talk. Dude, he is blabbing right now. Are you kidding me? Um. Can't hide it. You can't hide it. I see you without vision with my inner eye. Inner eye? Fuck are you talking about? Ask me a normal question, pig. Uh oh, he's starting to get agitated. They're trying to make you feel stupid, Kuno. I don't really have to do that. He kind of just does that on his own. You glance again at the roofing material in front of the shack. Yes, you should go back there. Okay. Uh, I think we're done here. Yeah, whatever. Kuno doesn't give a shit. Uh, that body, what do you know about it? I have more questions about the crime scene. Gotta ask, who is Kuno? Okay, uh, what do you know about the body? Since you're throwing rocks at it nonstop. Shitload pig, what's your question? Don't nice. tell the pig shit, Kuno! Eh, uh, whisper. Kim, help me out here. What, what do we know? What do we, what do we want to know? If I were to want to waste my time, which I do not, I would ask them who he is, how he got there, and the usual. Cool. You have no idea what the usual is. Of course. Just ask whatever comes to mind. Okay. Do you know who he was? Do you know how he got it got up there? Have you seen 
Anyone suspicious around? More on this later. This sounds like a news thing. More on this later at 7 o'clock. Right now, let's talk about something else. Um, you know how he got up there? Probably climbed. Kuna was busy down the road when that shit went down. Hmm. So he's thinking maybe he killed himself, so I don't think he knows. So you didn't see it happen. You had Kuno. Kuno wasn't even in Martinez. Kuno wasn't in Revachal. Kuno wasn't regional. <laughs> he wasn't regional. Oh, okay. Where, where'd you go then? I don't know. Some fucking... He looks around trying to come up with something. Mesk or... or I don't know. Some other place. Night City. Kuno was in fucking Night City. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, about the dead body yeah. again. Kuno didn't smoke him, if that's what you mean. Hmm. You've been smoking him with rocks. Okay, more on this Not later. testing Kuno's patience yet. Eh, shut up. Get lost, f Nasty. Uh, I want to discuss the body again. Okay, I gotta ask. Who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig? The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. Oh yeah. Kuno. Primal. Violent. Kuno sounds like something you'd call a rabbit dog. So you f you refer to yourself in the third person, like the rock. Kuno, is that some kind of gang name? Got it. I had another question. <clears throat> sounds like something you'd call a rabbit dog. Yeah, think about it. Think about that rabid Kuno shit. Right on. Right he on. seems glad someone understood what he was going for. Oh, I nailed it. But right as he's getting distracted, you hear a malevolent hiss from behind the fence. Oh, no. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to visit you! He's gonna put his hands on you! <laughs> the thing behind the fence starts squealing, shrill and violent, like a fire alarm. <laughs> he's gonna fiddle you with his hands. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Uh oh. Right. Uh oh, we're in trouble. The sound gets louder as the child shouts at the wi at the windows overlooking the yard. Help! He's got the Kuno help! Uh. Oh Jesus, we're in big trouble. I'm not doing anything. See, just answer the questions. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah. I'm out. Get I'm scared. Out of here before the Kuno beats the shit out of you. You were screaming like a little girl, so you shut yeah, up. Yeah, that's right. Drag your fat ass out of here, fat boy, before Kuno fucks you. Oh, that all sounds yeah. terrible. Don't listen. Just go. I'm leaving. Oh, I could have listened. That would have been funny. Okie dokie then. We, you know, that was awful. What, two, two of the worst children I've ever seen. Check the trash. These are bottles inside. You should pick them up if you had a... Oh, you could pick them up if you had a bag. I need a bag. What's this? A dough. It's locked. Lime. Rue de Saint... Gislaine 8B. It's definitely some French influence. It's a French ass area up in here, up in here. Ugh. Some great tectonic forces has cracked the pavement like an eggshell. Moisy. A bench. The worn and beaten wooden planks of the bench do not look overly comforting. Hmm. We can sit on benches after we've solved the murder. Let's go. <sighs> Dude, I've been here for three days. I need to sit. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass time when Lieutenant Kit Suragi is gone. Just call him Kim. And there's, a, there's a couple old men over there. Okay. I think I just want... I really want to go talk to the gardener right now. You! I knew you were a funky monkey. What's your deal? Hello again, officer. My partner How told me you? you may have ammonia. Can I have some? Sure. Oh. I'm done with it. Okay, actually, this chick's banging because she just gave me gloves and ammonia. Sure, I'm done with it. Wait, that's what she said. Go Thanks, easy bitch. on that stuff. It gave me a terrible headache. Okay, that rules. Now we can do stuff with the with the ye. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on over here. Um, dink. Okay. Oh, I'm still rocking the no shirt look, dog. Just with the jacket. Looks good. Looks good. I like it. Did I get anything else? No, I just have the shirt. Uh. Okay, there's my thin glass tube wrapped in cotton netting used to treat fainting spells produced by St. Baptiste Paramedic 
cute so good at a big word big word little brain okay um let's try and get that key I guess from the dude before we continue onward with other stuff then maybe we'll go talk to those old dudes see what's up oh liquid give me liquid please oh there it is Mm. Police work is tough. Take breaks. Talk to strangers. Explore. Uh, I'm doing that right now. Can I finally look at the thing that's right there? Ah, uh, no. Hello, Linda. If that's your real name. Yo, my man. What it do? Real mature man. Oh yeah, because I ran exactly from him. What you trying to accomplish? <laughs> he you crosses his arms. You still owe me money, right? No, because I ran away, remember? And that means my debt has been paid. Damn, your feet thought we got away. <sighs> Lame. That doesn't seem fair. You demonstrated some serious skills there. Slipping away Sambo style. Yeah, man, I had, like, such a low percentage of getting away, and I totally did. It was awesome. By the way, Sambo, Whoa. or Samurai Boxing, is an eloquently violent set of one-on-one -on -one fighting moves originating from the Samurai Isola. Sambo used to incorporate a wide array of martial disciplines, from archery to mounted combat, but mainly means aesthetically pleasing single combat nowadays. Sambo's style implies stealth, cleverness, and cool. Wow, you could have just cut it down to that last little sentence there, but interesting. Um, hold on, what is this money, anyways? Uh, but you must have appreciated my Sambo style stealth. Uh, don't I get something for effort? I'm sorry. I know I was irresponsible. It was irresponsible of me to run. You have to understand. I was desperate. But... But you must have been appreciate. You must appreciate it, my Sambo style stealth. Oh, well, if that was Sambo style, then let me wipe that debt, sir. Knew it. I crushed it. He snorted sarcastically, then suddenly changed his tone, probably realizing it was pretty damn cool. Okay. That's right. The stupid drinks are on the house, Mr. Fuck yeah. Athlete. I still have to charge you for three nights and the broken window. That's a hundred square. <sighs> it's not good enough, bro. It's not good enough. That window was just an unfortunate casualty of me practicing my moves. I won't pay for it. So we're cool. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> that window was an unfortunate casual casualty. Fine, I'll take it off the bell. So mm. you're in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Oh, buddy. Just know I won't give you another room. Aww. So we're cool? Not entirely cool. <laughs> you still owe me 60 real for 60 Jara. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up there. Okay. Um, I got 60 cents. How's that? Is that close? That's pretty close. Now, what the hell did you want? I assume you wanted something to come back here. Uh, yeah, can I borrow 60 bucks? I just need to pay back some dickhead that's that needs 60 bucks, so can I borrow some money? Um, is that is the trash container out back yours? It's de it definitely is. So about that money, I've been... I've seen something here at the Whirling Guards... Guard... Garte? Garte. Uh, a thing I need to talk about. By the way, I'm going to sing karaoke here. Absolutely out of the question. Oh, no fucking way it isn't. You wait and see, cafeteria manager. That's it, Volition. You tell him. Absolutely in the question. Damn right, Inland Empire. First we find a sad banner. Yeah. Then we sing this place to shit. Fucking right. We're gonna crush it. Is the trash container yours? Mine? No, it belongs to the Whirling and Rags. Oh, come on, dude. Thank you for carrying the debt. Why do you keep the container locked? Why? to keep the hobos and drunks out. That's why. And the neighbors, too. They put their trash there, and they don't pay for the garbage company. Hmm. I thought as much. And are you the only party with access to the trash container? Well, yes. Us and the garbage disposal company. It seems a little callous, doesn't it? Something stirs in you. I wonder what this feeling is. No, it doesn't. Nothing stirs in me, and it isn't callous. It's common sense. Okay, then. Maybe you're callous yourself. <gasps> mean. We need those keys, damn it. What do you need them for? 
to look in the trash. It concerns the case. Durr. Please cooperate. The lieutenant's voice is harsh and sudden. Just bring them back once you're done, please. Boom, we're crushing it. He takes the keys from under the counter and hands them to you. So about that money, okay, good enough. I've seen something here at the Wernling Garte, Garda, whatever, at this hotel. I, a thing I need to talk to you about, what was that? thing? Saw a sign that said the mess hall is reserved reserve for the Union. I uh, saw a sign that said I couldn't go into the kitchen. Why can't I go into the kitchen? There's something else. Uh, what about that? Yeah, the sign. Yes, the union. not the whole damn union, thank God. Just the nastiest and loudest faction. Sounds like our men. They come here in the evenings. Dumb, unruly types. Think they're big shit. But they're good customers. They place big orders and always pay on time. Does one of them happen to be a giant? He hates the union, but grudgingly recognizes its power over him. So he's directing his frustration at you instead. Retaliate. <laughs> it's a shame you've you've got to suck up to the Union to stay afloat. Let it go. You're above gratuitous baiting. We should find out who this Lord faction is occupying the booth. Lordness means talkative, and we need info. The lieutenant gives you a meaningful nod. How do we find them? We don't. We have to wait. They'll show up sooner or later. Men get hungry, even striking men. If not today, then they'll be here tomorrow. But I hate waiting. Uh, I saw a sign that said I couldn't... Oh, is this dude's name? Gart? Or whatever? Oh, okay, his name is Gart. Okay, I got you. Uh, I saw a sign that said I couldn't go in the kitchen. Why can't what I go in there? You a cook now? Maybe. That's none of your business. Maybe I am a cook. I have to search warrant. But there may be something uh, pertinent to the investigation in the kitchen. But I'm really hungry. And want me to make an exception for you? Please? You're not even a hostel guest till you pay your outstanding bills. He changes his Fine. mind. Fine. Okay. The kitchen is closed until 1 p.m. because the cook is working. You can snoop around after that if you must. Kiddy. What? By the way, you should come back to this thing based questionnaire if you see anything interesting in the whirling later. Good call. Uh, okay. See ya. Oh, I got a thought. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Do I even have a home? I have no idea. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. I don't know. Near south? <laughs> Far away up on Marvel Hill. Uh, south. You don't really know. Do you? No idea. I I don't. Does this mean I'm homeless? I have only vague blackened, blackened image. Oh god, am I homeless? South, maybe. Doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Hmm. But I could live on South Maybe Street. Could I trace the way back somehow? To the exact street? The exact number on the building? I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cup. Hobo club. You can try. Run some addresses in your head. Oh, when you accident. Get the time. I pressed. Damn it. Maybe a street <laughs> fucked or up. an apartment will appear. Okay. I gained a thought. Thought gained. Lonesome long way home. Interesting. Interesting. What's that? A thought. I have a think. What's my think? Ooh. I can internalize it. Let's rewind. Let's trace your drunken steps back home. Jump across the raised channel bridge southwest of here. Fall over, get up, get off the asphalt in 20 minutes. Shuffle your feet through courtyards. Scaring little children go under the great raised mo- What the fuck is this all about? That's the problem? Internalize. Oh! Oh lord. I hope that wasn't bad. It was, yeah. Maybe I have, I have to stew on it a little bit, think about it a little longer. Is that what's going on? Okay, can I go out of this door? Summer door closed for the winter. Lame. Then why is it there? Go, 
one out there. Thank you. Equip a flashlight in low light areas. Oh my. That's pretty kiddy. Okay, I think we're going to stop the video uh, here. So make sure you go down in the description below where you can follow uh, all the links down there. You can go follow me on Twitter. You can go check out the podcast. Yes, I have a podcast. Make sure you go check that podcast out. I'm doing three episodes a week where I do uh, video games, wrestling, and hockey. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those topics, make sure you swing down over to uh, Spotify or iTunes. Uh, wherever you listen to podcasts, it should be up there. And uh, go check out the YouTube channel. There's uh, tons of other Let's Plays on there. If you're enjoying this one, you may enjoy some of the other ones on my channel. So thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. It only takes a second. And I love you. Bye-bye.